Hello everyone, thank you for seeing this video today, and uh, today I want to take this time to uh, express my anger and my frustration with public transportation. So for anyone that's taking uh, Long Beach Transit specifically, you may have noticed in a couple spots that they're either changing bus lanes or bus stops are just being removed, and I'm going to showcase exactly what it is that they're doing so if you look on the sidewalk here you may notice that there's some markings on, on here this indicates that there was a bench here that's the on my point of view the right side and here is the left side and if you look around over here um, this used to be where the little sign for the bus would be so if I were to cross this street here Uh, you also would notice that, yeah, there's a bench on the opposite side, as well as a little signpost here. So, uh, this indicates that, yeah, there used to be a sidewalk, or not a sidewalk, a bus stop on the opposite side, which is gone. So, if you're the kind of person that needs to go to work or school and you don't have your own car, or, you know, you don't have enough for an Uber or Lyft, and you want to run to these bus stops for dear life so that way um, you can actually make it, um, you unfortunately can't do that anymore. So it's either whatever bus stop is closest now. Um, and it's not even just this bus stop that used to be there in particular that's gone. Uh, let me show you another one that also got removed. All right, so here's another bus stop that was unfortunately removed, which I don't think should have been removed anyway, but as you can see, this is very recent. These markings here are darker than the previous one. And then as you can see on this uh, pole here, the sign for the bus stop has been completely uh, removed. The pole is still intact, as you can see here, but the sign that's on top of this pole is no longer here indicating that they recently removed uh, this bus stop and have yet to actually clean up the rest. But hold on, I've saved the best for last. So this bus stop in particular was never really outside at first, <clears throat> as you can see here. Uh, not only did they set up a new pole, which kind of looks uh, fresh, but if I walk under this hall, uh, this um, highway here, and I look straight ahead, there is a bus stop pole that's just right down the sidewalk. And once again, you can see the benchmarks on the sidewalk here, as well as this, um, the sign, which has been removed. And you can see the little hinge on the side there, which holds up the sign, and the pole here is still intact. They moved this bus stop out in the open, away from underneath this highway. So... What's going to happen if all of a sudden it starts raining and um, people don't have umbrellas? This right here is what I like to call an inconvenience because this bus stop is not underneath this highway that I'm standing on right now. It is out in the open where it may become easier for people to get soaked if they're not prepared for any type of rain for that matter. So... Not only is it an inconvenience, 
but also the fact that they're moving up this bus stop just because reason like it makes no sense to me so for anyone that's taking their service this is a quick heads up because there might be some bus stops that have been removed in your neighborhood or just moved up or moved down for no apparently reason so yeah um this is just a uh, little heads up here about this bus service and if anybody who works for lumpy uh, transit is watching this just so you know that this right here is an outrage to me and an inconvenience